A young gentleman uh, with a question. Go ahead. Um, hello, my name is Yoga Mitran. I'm from uh, India, uh, Chennai. Um, I would uh, like to ask a question. Uh, how should we help actually save the soil? <laughs> yep. How should we help save soil? I was, uh, I was talking to our uh, children at the Isha Home School in South India. They're all of your age or little more than that. When I told them this, they took this up upon themselves and they said, they are going to inspire ten million children in India to write to the Prime Minister. Right now we have not reached ten million, a few hundred thousand letters have been written by children. Prime Minister's office is being inundated with children's paintings, children's safe soil <laughs> messages. They are requesting us, make it digital, please. <laughs> These physical letters are becoming too many. <laughs> so uh, somebody was telling me this, you know, they've written all kinds of addresses, the children, and it's all over Delhi in post offices <laughs> because children didn't get the right address. <laughs> But I'm saying, even if a million letters go to the Prime Minister from children, you think anybody is going to ignore that? So you must get your school and every other school that you can possibly to write this, all of you, get this going. At least a million children in uh, Belgium should write to your Prime Minister, this needs to happen. Get five million children across Europe to write to the European Union, this needs to happen. See, the governments must know to what extent people are concerned, otherwise why will they act? Just a handful of activists wasting their lives going on doing this for their entire life. If everybody stands up, it'll happen very quickly, isn't it? They're spending their life… <laughs> to give you an example, you know, in twenty-nine days of rally for rivers, driving from southern India to Himalayas, I drove through sixteen states, nearly ten, nine thousand three hundred kilometers, and we gathered hundred and sixty-two million people supporting us. Once there was that kind of a number, the policy document that we wrote, which was seven and sixty-page document about how to manage tropical rivers in India, became the official policy recommended to all the twenty-eight states within three and a half months. Today it is the official policy. Implementation is slow, six states went for it, proactive. Others usually wait for a disaster to happen. Uh, that is a mode, unfortunately, <laughs> than to create a certain express need. We started what is called as Kaveri Calling, that one river basin we took up, which is eighty-three thousand square kilometers, and 5.2 million farmers live and work here. Looking at the success of that, five UN agencies joined up with us because of the success. There is, there is no other project of that scale happening anywhere in the world. And looking at the success of that, the central government made a similar replica projects for 13 river basins which account for 67 percent of India's land. Now we have been pushing this, this has already been five years. Now just about eight days ago or nine days ago, government of India announced a budget of 2.3 billion dollars for these thirteen river basins. This is just the beginning. So, so in all this, in all this the most important role is that of the people because of the size of support that is there, government cannot ignore it. No democratic government will ever ignore the numbers because numbers are the basic currency in a democracy. If you raise the numbers to three to four billion people in the world, everybody will sit up and listen. So. If I can say something, one second, everybody is asking how to do it, how to do it. One thing is follow the journey on safe soil. I want you to understand, this is not about you supporting me, I don't need that. What you need to do is, 
you and whoever else in the world, talk something about soil for next hundred days. You don't have to link it to this moment, you do your own campaign. But say something about soil, everybody speak something about soil. It doesn't matter in what form this will become a reality. It may happen in considering all the realities that you're talking about or it may happen taking just a few of them, but let at least one step move in that direction of keeping soils alive. If they could take everything and make it happen, fantastic, but I doubt whether they will take such a strong step because they have many industries and others, there are fighting forces out there. The simplest thing where there is no fight, let's take that step. After that, where there is fight, we will go a little more slowly because economic interests are there in this. Nobody is going to give it up just like that. So, share savesoil.org website with as many people as you can. Make Save Soil song reverberate everywhere. Can download it from the website. Your children write a letter to the Prime Minister or President of your country. Uh, can find on website. P put up Save Soil stickers on your cars. Display placards wherever you can. If you don't have a car, if you don't have anything, stick it on your clothes. Let's make it happen.